What's good with y'all, man? I'm back for another video. And today we're about to come with an exciting video. Uh, I'm about to present to y'all my shoe collection. You know, you will see boots, you will see sneakers in here, but this is overall my 2022 shoe collection. You know, this is currently what I have in my rotation. Now I have multiple other pairs of sneakers. You know, um, there are some sneakers that you won't see in this video that I actually have. I do have other pairs of sneakers that's put to the side because I don't really wear those sneakers anymore. You know, these sneakers right here that I'm about to show y'all are in my current rotation of what I actually wear because my style is evolving. You know, I'm becoming more sleek. I'm becoming more polished, more elegant, you know, more sophisticated, you know, more articulate. You know, my whole demeanor, not even just my clothing, my whole demeanor, you know, that's how I express and paint a picture of my personality and who I'm evolving into through my clothing. You know, I'm very mature, I'm very sleek. I'm very introspective. So you will see a lot of maturity in the way I dress, you know? You will see a lot of mysteriousness in the way I dress, you know? You know, you won't see a lot of graphic things. You won't see a lot of juvenile things in the way I dress. You will see a lot of mysterious, you know, sleek, you know, alpha type stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I'm about to show y'all my uh, sneaker collection right now. So I ain't gonna talk too much. I'm gonna get right into the first shoe now this first shoe is a boot you know it's a boot and it is a chuck -a boot and i actually got this um half off on north shore and it is a um tommy hill figure chuck -a boots pretty nice you know desert tan you know yeah i picked this up for 60 bucks and it retails for 120 i got it on north shore you know so pretty good pickup you know i got this like a year ago you know around the summertime and a year ago you know Pretty cool boot, I don't really wear it much because now that I start looking at a lot of other designer brands and a lot of um, Italian designer brands, Paris, France, you know, uh, and places like that, I'm really starting to get into more, I'm getting I'm getting into Mason Margiela boots. I really like YSL boots. I like Hermenegio Dozini boots, you know, things like that. Magnani, that's, one, that's another uh, boot company that I really love, a shoe company that I really love, Magnani. You know, they're, uh, I think they're out in Italy. Yeah, they're out in Italy, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, don't really wear this boot too much. It's a Tommy Hill figure, you know? So it's decent in quality, 120 bucks, so you get what you pay for. It's not really a, a beast in quality, of course, because it's only $120. But yeah, I don't really wear this too much anymore, but it's still a cool boot, you know? So um, the next boot I'm getting into is a Doc Martin Classic original you know a lot of people know about dog martens you know i'm pretty sure if you know about boots you know about dog martin you know you got the yellow stitching trademark everybody knows that for dog martin you know smooth leather you know really not necessarily a smooth leather but it's kind of like just a regular leather finish you know black leather and i really, I really wouldn't consider this a combat boot i would consider this just like a, a elegant boot you know just a uh, um, it's kind of generic, you know, it's basic, but it's elegant at the same time because of the leather, you know, the gold eyelets that are up throughout here. It's just something about this boot that I really love, you know, the gum bottoms, it's just very nice. You know, I love this boot so much, you know, and it stays clean. The soles always stay clean. I promise, I had this boot for like a year. The, the soles stay clean. And these, I picked I pick these up on the actual site of Doc Martens for $150, 1460 model. Not expensive at all, $150. So we have another Doc Martin that we're getting into. Now this is a combat boot for sure, because it sits high, it sits very high. That's a 1460 model, this is a Pascal model. This is actually a combat boot. I wouldn't consider this one a combat boot, personally, but this is definitely a combat boot for sure, you know? Even though my style it's really elegant, like I just told y'all, very mysterious. I don't really wear a lot of graphic things. I don't really wear a lot of juvenile things like v Lone and, you know, a lot of graphic t-shirts, you know, and things like that. I, if I if I feel fun one day, you know, I'm not saying I won't wear any color ever. You know, I'm not saying I just, I'm the type of person to just keep wearing black all the time. I'm just saying that's my style description. It's not that I won't step out of my comfort zone a little bit, you know, not really my comfort zone, but it, it ain't that I want to explore a different thing. So if I'm feeling like colorful, if I'm feeling like, you know, fun, you know, if I want to throw in a graphic t-shirt, if I want to throw in like a nice colorful shirt, I'll put these on, 
because it's a white, blank white canvas, you know, smooth leather, black eyelets, you know. This is just great for a graphic tee, you know. Goes very good with leather pants and a graphic t-shirt. All right, so, um, the next boot we're getting into is a Perry Ellis Portfolio, you know, very nice boot, dress boot. Uh, this retails for 113, uh, 100, I said 113, $130. You know, it's kind of late, you know, I'm kind of, you know, excuse me, you know. Very nice boot, you know, dress up, dress down, whatever you prefer, dress boot. I don't really know what this boot is classified as, but it seems like a dress boot to me, you know, but it's very casual because there's not really too much going on in this boot, but it's very nice. You know, wear this with polo shirts. You can even rock this with a t-shirt, you know, very nice. You know, I really do love this boot. I really love the how it's formed, the form, the form, the format of the boot. You know, I really love it. You know. So the last, but certainly not least, boot that I have in the collection. This is the most expensive boot that I own currently. It's this Joffre boot right here. I want to get my hands on another pair of boots. You know, that kind of looks similar to this but it's definitely gonna be way high, more higher quality than this. But not to say this is not high quality because I paid $200 for these, for these boots and the quality is very good for $200. You know, usually people say you get what you pay for, but the quality on these boots is good. You know, I would say it's an eight out of 10 for the quality on these boots, you know? Functional zipper, got the leather line going throughout. You know, high quality, it's very high quality. You know, suede, got the tan suede, 200 bucks for these boots and it's very high quality, you know, very high quality. I was actually shocked when I seen the quality of these boots and how they're lasting. Cause I had these for a year, I had these for a year now and, they're, and they look brand new, really. You know, they don't really look off. You know, they don't really, you know, it's a couple spots here and there but they don't really look too worn out, you know? I had them for like a year. So I really do love those boots. These are my favorite, actually, boots in my collection. So we're getting into the sneakers now. I only have a few pair of sneakers. I gotta get more sneakers in my collection, but I'm not trying to spend a lot of money. I'm trying to save my money. I'm trying to get a car. So sneakers, you know, I really love elegance. I really love sneakers. I really love designer. You know, I love elegance. You know, that's just the type of man I am. But hey, you know, it can break your bank, you know? So that's why I look for sneakers on Grail and Poshmark. You know, I look for uh, used sneakers. You know, not really. I try to get sneakers that are in very good condition on Poshmark and Grail. So these sneakers right here is actually a Ugg sneaker. And I picked these up on Poshmark, you know, for 80 bucks. And these retail for $160. Super comfortable. This boot, I mean boot, sneaker, is very comfortable, you know, very comfortable. And it looks so elegant too. And it, it's, it's so simple yet elegant. You know, I think it's because of the leather and how the eyelets play off the leather. And the silhouette of it is just, is just elegant. You know, it's just a, a nice sneaker. I love this sneaker so much. It's Uggs and I never knew Ugg made sneaker, sneakers, but this is a, they did a very good job on their sneaker. You know, you got the wool lining, 100% wool lining for comfort. You know, see the tags right there, you know, very nice sneaker. So the next sneaker that we're getting into is an Italian sneaker, designer sneaker. And this is, I don't know. I would say this is my favorite sneaker in my collection, but yeah, this is probably my favorite. I ain't gonna lie. Bushimi. Ronnie Fiat, 100 millimeter, very nice. You know, I can't really put my uh, my eye on what color this actually is, but it seems like it's like a salmon tan color. It's like a salmon tan color. This leather is off the charts in quality. This leather is so high quality, obviously, because this, this is a Bushimi, you know? It's an $800 sneaker. This retails for $800. Did I pay $800 for this? Hell no, because I ain't, you know, I'm trying to save money. You know, I'm not trying to spend that much on those sneakers. And I can't afford that right now. But I was blessed to get this sneaker 
on Poshmark for $150. $150. And this sneaker smells like a new car. I'm not even gonna lie. Leather lined throughout, you know, but made in Italy, you know. This sneaker is just self-explanatory. You know, y'all know y'all know John Bushimi. Y'all know his sneakers. Not all his sneakers, but the 100 millimeters, this model, it resembles a Birkin bag. You see the handle, you know, you see the uh, lock. You see the little buckles, you know, you see the little uh, straps on the side. Come on, man. Y'all see the key right here. You know, to the lock. Just the masculine. You know, this is probably one of the best designer shoes I've ever seen in my life. I'm not even gonna lie. Because the creativity is just crazy on this sneaker. It's so it it's so much going on in this sneaker. You got the you know, you got the met the metal gold handles, you got the lock, you know, you got this in the front, you got the the magnet right here, you got the key, you got the handle right here. It's so much going on, but it's so masculine, you know. I really love this sneaker. I'm so glad I got my hands on a pair of these. Thank God, you know. I'm so glad I got my hands on a pair of these. You know? So, the last sneaker that we have is made in Italy as well. This is a low-key brand that a lot of people don't really know about. That's really what made me want to get it because a lot of people don't really know about this. This is not really like a, a, a all-out-there brand, you know? And it's made in Italy. High-quality materials. You know, I'm enjoying this sneaker. It is a Alessandro Delacqua. You know, now a lot of people, some people who've heard of Alessandro Delacqua uh, know about his brand, Number 2021. 20, you know, that's a pretty popular brand, Number 21. But he also makes shoes on his own name, you know, under his own name, Alessandro Delacqua. That is his name. Made in Italy, you know, luxurious knitting company, you know. You know, I love that elegance, you know what I'm saying? I got these on uh, Poshmark for a low price and he's retail for $400, you know? But at first glance, you would think this is a athletic sneaker. But when you come to it, when you actually feel the materials, high quality suede, you know, patent leather on the back. Y'all see it, man. Look at the suede going throughout that thing. You got the patent leather going throughout the eyelets right here. Just very high quality, you know? Very high quality sneaker. You know, y'all got the little, you know, you got the metal right here that says Alessandro Delacqua. Screws right here, you know, very high quality. I don't know if y'all can see that. You know, very high quality right here. Blue bottoms, double stitching. When a shoe has double stitching, you know it's made well. You know, you got double stitching going throughout here. Very nice, very nice sneaker. One of my recent pickups, I got this like a couple weeks ago, found it on Poshmark. I was looking for some designer shoes on Poshmark and I found these. Alessandro Delacqua made in Italy. You know, still. So that concludes uh, my sneaker collection. Hit me down in the comment section and tell me what y'all thought of that, you know? I really love my sneaker collection, you know? I try not to make this video too long, but it's a sneaker collection that's gonna be long. Shoe collection is gonna be long. So, uh, Hit me down in the comments and uh, tell me what kind of videos y'all want to see. I got poetry, fashion, self-improvement, all, all of those things. So you're not going to want to miss out on this content that I'm uh, coming with. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'm out.